Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my little corner where my hair looks horrible and it's just up in a little clip because one of you guys asked me can I do a hair tutorial and I was like yeah cool I already have one so here's the link and then I was like wait a second this one's like seriously old I don't even have that wand anymore I have new extensions so I thought I would share with you guys how I do my hair when I film when I'm going out for I don't know when I really want to like dress up I do have hair of my own but I love using my extensions for added volume and especially for the length so I want to show you guys what I use how I do it all that good stuff so first things first I want to show you guys everything that I plan on using today so to start I'm gonna use my living proof full dry volume blast I love this stuff to give me a little bit more volume especially up top where I kind of want it to lay over the extensions then I have my new me wand I believe this may be I don't know what size this is but it's a fairly like medium sized wand I found this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls one of those two places really good price and then for my extensions of course I have my Bellamy hair extensions these are my normal clip-ins not my halo type I just find that I can get a more personalized style with these than my halo kind although the halo kind I can pop in my hair and have my hair done in like 2.5 seconds I want to show you guys a couple little tricks that I do with this to make my clip-ins kind of go in so much more easier and seamlessly kind of hide my little baby hairs all that good stuff so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my hair out of the clip and show you guys these other things that I use so for a brush I use my Bellamy wooden brush but really any big bristle brush will do Carly had a wet brush that I used to use all the time for my extensions or a large wide tooth comb that has you know fairly large comb thingies bristles whatever that'll work too and then to finish off the look something that I just got that I absolutely love is my Madison braid I am NOT getting paid for this I'm showing it to you guys because I love it I think it goes with my extensions so very well it even goes with my regular like when I just have my hair down I threw this in today with I literally did nothing to my hair other than blow dry I threw this in and I looked a little bit more put together but today we're gonna use it with my extension so let's go ahead and get started Okay, so I'm going to take my hair down. I'm, I'm using just a regular little clip to kind of hold it out of my way when I need to. And we're going to start with my Living Proof Full Volume Blast Spray. And what I do with this is just kind of spray it towards the top of the hair, right at the root. All over my head, basically, to give it something, the extension, something to hold on to and to give my hair a little bit more volume. One thing I worried about using this is I've been trying to wash my hair less frequently. This doesn't really give me like a lot of buildup, so it doesn't really bother me. Alright, so when I put in my extensions, my set comes with two four clips, two two clips, four one clips, and two three clips. So I'm going to go ahead and use the two three clips first. What I do is take all of my hair and put it up, and then I take my first three clip. And I flip it upside down. So it's completely upside down. And I clip it into the base of my hair. It looks crazy, I know, but this actually does a couple of good things for me. So it hides my short hair from showing underneath. The first hair that people see is this hair. And it like sandwiches the rest of my hair in there. Gives me a little bit more volume down here at the base, but I'm going to kind of flatten that down as I put the extensions in. So I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> put my other three clip left on top of that. So now we've got a nice base for the rest of my extensions. And I actually still have plenty of room here, so I'm going to grab my first four clip weft. And I'm going to place that right here as well. Let down a little bit of hair. Leaving a good, nice, healthy bit up top. Put that back. Grab my last piece that is a four clip left and clip that in. Some people do a little teasing method where they take their clip, do it in a circular section, and it really does help their hair to hold. 
but I don't really have a problem too bad with them slipping. They pretty much stay where I need them to. Hey! <laughs> So now that I got my peacock do going on, I want to show you guys what I do with the two clip wefts. So I go ahead and let my hair down, find a natural spot where I can put that two clip in, usually right here, because I want some of it to come over to the side of my face. And I don't really clip it, I just kind of lay it there, get this where I need it. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Find myself a good little spot where it's not gonna show. Cause that's like the most embarrassing thing when you have clippings in and your wife starts showing. That makes you wanna have like braided or sewing extensions so bad. <laughs> but I like clipping extensions. I can put them in when I want to. The days where I can't do anything with my hair, I don't have to deal with the extensions. If I want to do an updo, my hair is so thin that with the tape and extensions that I had once before, they would show. I couldn't put my hair up. So I like these for the versatility, for the fact that even though I have thin hair, I can hide it. It's usually fairly easy to blend in. So now I've got four one clip wefts left. I'm just going to kind of put those in where I need them for volume, especially in the front of the head. I don't ever stress myself too much about where I'm putting them in the first place because I tend to like move them around anyways. Like I can't decide where I want to put this one. There we go, we'll put it there for now. We'll see if we need to move it later. And then do the same two clips on this side. This side, I usually part my hair around there. So this side's a little harder to hide on, but I make it work. There's just not as much hair that's going to come down this way. Speaking of hair, we've got a problem here. There we go. Let's fix this one. <laughs> there we go. And by the boom, we've got my hair in. Now I'm just going to take my brush and make sure that, you know, it's all brushed together and all looks good. Before we start throwing a few curls in, I'm not gonna go crazy. But honestly, when I spend more time on curling is when I tend to like my clip-ins the most, so it's whatever time you want to invest in your hair. So if I want to do it quickly, I take my hair, after it's fairly well brushed, part it in the middle, okay? And then I take my wand and I just start going it down with fairly large chunks, not too big, not too small, and I just wrap it around the curling iron. I try to alternate which way I go, but sometimes I forget. Could have done better on that first one, but I got a little impatient. Pulled it down a little early. I don't use a glove, most girls do I think, but I can grab a hold of my hair without burdening myself, so it just depends on your comfort level, but they definitely, most of them come with gloves, so you should be fine. My first curl is driving me nuts, but I'll fix it here in a little bit. Round and round we go, where she stops, nobody knows. Oh, that just came off. That's okay, she's in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and do this curl over with, over again because it's driving me crazy. It's not like framing in my face. It's a little bit better. I'm just throwing a couple more curls on the top part of my hair, like my actual hair, where it feels like it went down a little flat. I'm 
Big difference. Curled, not curled. <laughs> All right, so let's fix that big old difference and go ahead and start over here. And just do that all the way around. This is like my one trick pony. I really am not good at doing my hair, but a little wand just does it for me. I've got two more curls left at least. So in under 20 minutes, I have managed to clip in my extensions, curl my hair. Now all I need to do is put in my braid and then see if there are any more curls that need to happen. So the braid is really neat. It's adjustable, so you can move it up and down if you want to. I don't have any real issues with it. There's a lot of really cool haircut styles you could do. So you could do like the little braid up next to that and have your hair kind of roll over the little seams and you've got that going on. But the way I like to do it is go ahead and pull it down and wear it like a headband. I find that's the easiest way to do it. And it just looks so stinking pretty and well put together. Like look. <laughs> I love the Madison braid. I feel like it is a really great um, addition to my extensions. It makes it, gives me like a whole new hairstyle that I can do with my extensions. Okay, so now that that's done, honestly, I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Normally I'll brush it out a little bit, but I'm really digging these curls the way they are. Looking really cute, yeah. I think that's it, guys. <laughs> but if I wanted to, I could brush it out. I could have it be a little bit more lighter of a curl. Um, but I'm digging this the way it is, so I'm just going to leave it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my Get Ready With Me hair edition. If you guys liked it, please give me a big old thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And speaking of new subscribers, one of the things that I love doing on my channel is saying hello to my new peeps. So Tina Green, your life box, and 12T Stadler, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate you. And I guess that's it guys, me and my hair are going to go film an announcement video, a giveaway announcement video, so I will see you guys very, very soon. Till then, my loves. Bye!